In this video, we're going to be looking at how to find the shortest distance from a point to a line. The first thing I do when I want to start off a question like this is always just sketch it out. I think it makes it a lot easier to understand what you're doing. So let's start with what we're given. Let's just draw some arbitrary line and we'll call that L. And we'll label this with all the information that we know. Call this L. And we know that it has a direction vector, we'll call this D, of negative 1, 2, 2. Okay, so let's just draw some arbitrary vector here. This red vector, we'll call that D. And we know that it's in the direction of the line, right? And we also know from the equation of the line that. 1, negative 1, 1 would be a point on the line. And to check this, um, plug in t is equal to 0. And you can see that the point 1, negative 1, 1 would be on the line. So let's just draw an arbitrary point on this line right here. And we're going to label that as p, p0 or p naught. Okay? Remember that's a point, not a vector. And then we've got direction vector d. Now, we are looking to find the shortest distance from the point 3 3 1 to the line. So, let's just label some arbitrary point um, in this little sketch. Let's put it right over here. Okay? And we'll call this p, which is 3, 3, 1. And we're just playing with a random point here. We don't know where exactly things are, but we're just going to put everything to a diagram. Okay, so the process to solve these questions is not too bad. The first thing that we want to do is draw or come up with a vector that goes from point P0, which is a point on the line to the point of interest, which is point P. And we can do that by doing, okay, well, let's create a vector P naught to P. And we know that this would be equal to the vector from origin to P, subtracting the vector from the origin to P naught. Let's sketch that out to make it make a little bit more sense. Let me do, rearrange this a bit. Okay, so let's label some arbitrary origin on this little diagram we've got. We'll call this the origin right here, 0 or O. And let's just see, because a lot of people get confused when they do this calculation. They just do a point P and they subtract the point P naught, and then supposedly that gives them a vector. But that's not true. Remember, when we're, when we're trying to get this vector from P naught to P, or from the point p naught to p, we need to subtract two vectors to get that vector result, right? S subtracting points will not get you anything. We need to do vector addition and vector subtract vector algebra here. So you can see if we were to draw a vector from the origin to p in purple there, and let's do another one here from the origin to p naught. That'll be something like this. And let's actually change the colors here. Origin to P is going to now be purple. And origin to P naught is going to be orange. Great. Well, we can see that if we were to do origin to P and then plus the negative vector origin to P naught, well, that would just be like adding the origin to P naught from the other direction. So the result would be a vector that looks kind of like such, right? And this is going to be in blue, right? And you can see if we were to shift this just down and to the right, you can see that this vector right here results in from P naught to P, right? So 
let's actually do this math. P naught to P would be equal to, well, from origin to P naught, we know that that vector is represented by 3, 3, 1. And we're subtracting, well, the vector from the origin to P naught is represented by, and the point we had was 1, negative 1, 1, right? 1, negative 1, 1. Let me just label that. Great. So we know that this vector now is going to be 2, 4, 0. Great. Okay. So what next? Well, we're looking for the shortest distance, right? And the shortest distance we would know is going to be the perpendicular distance from the point P to the line, right? It needs to be perpendicular. That will result in the shortest distance. And we know that a perpendicular line would look something like this, approximately like this, right? And you can see that that would make a right angle here, right? And what I want you to notice here is that, well, this is just the perp of P naught P onto the line with direction vector D. Right? So let me label that. You can see right here, if I were to make this a solid line, right, draw it as a vector. Well, this is by definition the perp of P naught to P onto the direction vector D. Right? Makes sense. And here, let's shift this just a, just a little bit, this direction vector d. And we can see that this, oh, we can see that this line, let's draw, uh, running out of colors here, but here, I'll just do a, bold, a more bolded black line. You can see now that this right here, well, this is going to be the projection of that blue vector p naught to p onto the direction vector d, right? Because this line has the direction of d, right? So it'll be useful to find the perp of p naught to p onto direction vector d. And we know that this is just going to be equal to P naught to P minus the projection of P naught to P over D, right? And you could, I encourage you to do the same thing that we did above with this blue uh, vector. When we did uh, from origin to P, this, this purple vector plus the negative of this orange vector, and we resulted in this blue vector here, I would recommend you doing the same thing with this equation to see how this makes sense because these are all just vectors and we've written, we've already gotten them written down all here. So if you did the same sort of uh, approach, you would see that the all these vectors should make sense in your head why this addition and subtraction works. So let's now just, let's calculate this vector, right? So we have 2, 4, 0 minus, well, projection formula. We know this is P naught P dotted with direction vector D over magnitude of D squared, and it's in the direction of D. Okay. This will be 2, 4, 0 minus. Okay, P naught P is dotted with D, so it's 2, 4, 0, and our direction vector D is negative 1, 2, 2. So 
So this will be 2 times, actually let's put these in brackets, 2 times negative 1 plus, um, oh, I've already forgotten, negative 1, 2, and 2. Negative 1, this will be 2, and this is times 4, plus, and this will be 0. And now we've got to do the norm squared. So the norm squared is just going to get rid of the square root, and we're going to square all of the terms. So this will be negative 1 squared plus 2 squared plus, and double check here, yep, yeah, 2. Great. And it's in the direction of negative 1, 2, 2. So let's just clean this up, do a, some quick math. 2, 4, 0, minus, and this is, okay, negative 2 plus 8 is going to be 6 over, this is 1 squared plus 4 plus 4, so it's 8. So this is going to be 9. We've got 6, 9, 6 ninths, which is just 2 thirds, right? And this is negative 1, 2, 2. And let's express this as one answer. You've got two now, you've got now two plus two thirds. So that'll be six thirds plus another two thirds. So that'll be eight thirds. Four minus four thirds. Well, oh God. So it's getting, getting a little bit uglier here. For sake of time, I'm just going to do this math and get the answer one sec. So doing a bit of quick math, we get this vector here. And remember, this is the perp vector of p naught p onto the direction vector d. So this is this highlighted vector. And this, we're looking for the shortest distance. But remember, the shortest distance is not a vector. It's a length, right? We want the length of that vector. So really, we want the norm of this vector. So we actually have to take the norm of this, right? So let's write now the norm of perp of p naught p onto the direction vector d. That's going to be equal to the square root of 8 thirds squared plus 8 thirds squared minus, oh, plus, sorry, minus 4 thirds squared. Do, doing some uh, quick algebra, we know that we've got a common denominator of a third in each of these terms. So we can pull out a third squared, and then we would get one third squared on the outside times the square root of, this will be 8 squared plus 8 squared plus negative 4 squared, which is going to be 64 plus 64 plus 16. So 64, 64, and 16. If we don't have a calculator like we don't right now, I'm just going to add this using fundamentals. We've got 14, 6, 12, 13, 14. We get 144. So that's going to be 12, right? Yeah, makes sense to me. So we would get 12 over 3, which is just going to be equal to 4. So the shortest distance from the point that we were given to the equation of the line that we were given is going to be a distance of 4. Right. So this distance right here is going to be 4. And uh, that's it for this question. Yeah. Uh, I hope this was helpful, and yeah, drop a like. Thanks.